Chris Stewart for BamaFever.com, and since we last had a chance to talk, Alabama has found out it will be losing its offensive coordinator. Jim McElwain taking the job at Colorado State. That's not a huge surprise. He's a, a guy who is, uh, I think, deserving of a head coaching opportunity. I think he's been interested for a couple of years. I had some chances at a couple of other schools, frankly, a week ago with Memphis, I think, ready to offer had he shown that he was ready to accept the offer was in the mix uh, for another job or two, but I think Colorado State's the best fit. This is a guy who had so much success, even though it was only as a uh, for a year at Fresno State. He's got connections towards the um, the Northwest in, in that part of the country, so I think he'll do well at Colorado State. It's also a place where they've had some success in the past, and and I've had coaches tell me jobs in lesser leagues, but where you've got a chance to be in the top half of that league is really a, a better opportunity to uh, to have maybe than, than the big BCS conference, but you're in the bottom half and you don't really have a, a legitimate shot at winning. He's got a chance to build his career. If he goes to Colorado State, has success uh, in two, three years, whatever the case may be, and suddenly here's a guy with connections now in the SEC, at least one national championship, hopefully a second on his resume as an offensive coordinator, ties all over the country. I won't say that he can write his own ticket, but he'll be a viable candidate for major jobs at major BCS schools if he can win there at Colorado State, and I think he will. Jim's got a great personality. Uh, I know we didn't have a chance to see a lot of it because coordinators don't do many interviews under Nick Saban's system. But he is a guy that I think will do very well in those media settings at Colorado State. The people will genuinely like him. He's a good person, very good football coach, obviously. I think he's going to be a great fit there. The question, obviously, is where does Nick Saban turn for, for uh, Coach Michael Wayne's replacement? We won't hear about that until after January 9th. I'd be shocked if he didn't have somebody uh, hired not long after that, though, and ready to go to take over that role, uh, and, and I'm going to guess that it's going to be a name that nobody really thinks of because there, it's it's kind of his mode of operation to to maybe not go with the the hot name, but to go with somebody he has great confidence in. Maybe not somebody he's worked with. I mean, he did not work with McElwain, but he came highly recommended. He's got a picture of what he wants. In, in an assistant, whether it's the, the offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator, whatever position it is. He's got in mind what he wants, and then he goes and finds who that person is to fit that mold. I think Jim McElwain was an excellent fit, did a great job in f almost four full seasons, and now here we are at the, uh, the end of that, and hopefully we'll be able to help Alabama to a second national title in his four years as a part of Nick Saban's staff. We'll talk more football in the days to come. Don't forget, those last days of Christmas shopping, you can do at any of our seven locations of Bamba Fever and Team Fever stores around the state of Alabama, or you can simply do your shopping right here online. I'm Chris Stewart for BambaFever.com.